draw this number line again. There are going to be many anchor points in this case. So again, you start with uh, negative 1. Then there's the potential minimum, second vertical asymptote, second potential maximum at the last point. So it's going to be negative 1. It's going to be 0 0.8. It's going to be 2. It's going to be 7.2. And this point, which I want to make sure you can try on your own. Now, again, if you look at this, you go back and you copy it, right? So we know the increase and decrease, which means <clears throat> this is going to be decreasing, decreasing, increasing, increasing. Then it's going to continue to decrease and decrease. In terms of concavity, it's going to be concave down, concave up, concave up, concave down. And after 7.1 or approximately 7.2, it's going to be concave down. And if you get it correctly with the new point you have to find, it's going to concave up. So again, when you combine them, it's concave down decreasing. It will look something like that. Concave up decreasing, concave up increasing, concave down increasing, concave down decreasing, and concave up decreasing. Now, when you put all this, into the graph, it looks something like this. And again, you can verify this because if you plug in actual x values, you can tell if it's going to be above or below the asymptote. Likewise, it's going to look something like that. This part's going to cut through like that. Then it hits the maximum. And this is the part you want to pay attention to. It starts decreasing, concave down, continues to decrease, concave up. So that is the function f of x, which equals x minus 4, divided by x squared minus x minus 2. Again, you can go back to the first and second derivative test to confirm this is a minimum, this is a maximum, and that's over the lever. Here are some bonus ones I want you to really try to sharpen your skills. D, E, and F. And of course, don't forget to do your homework. I'm going to go back to this. Really important that you practice number 1 to 11 and also 1 to 20 and 1 to 7 from your textbook. Let me go back so you can copy this down. So until next time, all the best, and I hope this makes sense.